Hey guys, what is going on? Deboki here once again. Today I'm going to be cooking up some galbi, and I wanted to bring you guys on the adventure. It's going to be a very quick and simple recipe. You can almost think of this as like instant galbi if you're trying to do something quick and easy. If you guys have ever been to a Korean barbecue, you guys may have seen this cut of meat. These are short ribs. They got little bones in them. Very tender, tasty cuts of meat here. And usually there's a really nice marinade that goes on it. I'm just going to be using this instant marinade and this is actually super tasty. It literally just says Korean BBQ sauce for sliced short rib. You want to look for this little guy with the hat, the green hat. That's going to be the brand. And I think this is a pretty solid, tasty marinade. Just open up this beautiful package of meat. You can get this cut at meat at Sam's Club or Costco, I believe. Um, we, we got it at Sam's Club. It's kind of like a Costco. Probably looks pretty familiar, yeah. Beautiful. I'm just going to put all of them into this bowl here. And I'm going to wash it. You want to make sure that you're like rub the bones a bit and the meat because when they cut it, the bone shards can get into the meat a bit. So you just wanna make sure you soak and wash it. Biting down on one of those things is just not a good time. So I'm gonna soak this for a few hours. This is about 2.83 pounds of meat and I'm gonna use probably like a cup and a half of the marinade. You just wanna make sure that you have enough to cover all the meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure a cup and a half here. One and a half cup. And then we're just gonna go ahead and massage their marinade in. Recommended, we like to marinate this for about like one day. For this purpose, I'll go ahead and just marinate it for a few hours. But this is pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna prep the grill, cause I'm gonna actually grill it outside. And it's just been very chilly though. There's not too much snow, there's, there's a little bit, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just like shovel this out. I'm just gonna set this outside though for it to marinate in the cool here. It's like probably negative two degrees right now. So yes, yeah, it's, it's getting a little bit chilly. I know some places are like negative 40, which is kind of insane. It's just so chilly out there right now. It's really cold. I hope all of you guys are staying warm, the places that are like super cold out there because Wow, I was taking a shower this morning and I was just thinking how blessed I am for being able to have hot water pouring over me in negative one degree weather outside. It's just the time we live in, man. Are you spooked? I'm spooked. Oh, my favorite shovel. It's my favorite shovel. This is Bertha right here. She births clean pavement. I'm gonna go ahead and shovel out a little path for the pup. This little spot out for her. Yeah, this snow is super light. It's not heavy or wet, so it's fine. The pizza pie. Clear out these stairs here as well. Phew. Backyard has been shoveled, or at least the steps. Got a nice little clean path for the pup. I'm gonna be just trying one of the galbies marinated just for an hour, and then I'll be comparing it to one that I've been marinating for two days. So we can compare and contrast, but typically you'd wanna marinate it for at least like a day overnight. I'm gonna go shove the front. I think the front has a little bit of snow. Again, not that much, but just good to clear it out so it doesn't get super icy. Yeah. Done. Nice warm home. Oh yes. We have guests visiting pretty soon. My cousin's from Korea, so we set them up a little, <laughs> a little room. <laughs> we try to build a makeshift room. Hi puppy. Hi. How are you? Ooh. Yuki, you love the snow, huh? Grill prep. This is actually my first time using the grill for a video. Kind of an old grill, but it gets the job done. We like to use it every so often for just barbecuing up ribs or steaks. I don't really know much about grilling, but I do like to grill when I can. So we're gonna turn it on. Yeah, that sounds better. There it is. So I got one from the fridge that's been marinating for about two days now. So I'm gonna compare this one with the one that I'm marinating in the bowl right over there. 
and we're just gonna wait for this to heat up some more. It's getting, it's getting hotter, which is good. This off a bit. Also, I forgot to note, you don't have to use the grill. You can use pan fry, you can put it in a toaster oven, you can bake it. I'm just using a grill because I like to grill galbi, so that's why I'm using it. But you can cook this like in any way that you would want. You can even microwave it. Don't think you have to like pull out a grill in order to cook this. No, you can just cook it any way you like. Keep it simple for you guys that are out there living the bachelor life or something and just want to make a quick meal for yourself but feel like a king or queen, this is the way to do it. So we got the two different meats. This has been marinating for two days. This has been marinating for not even an hour. Um, you can tell the color too. I think the meat was like purchased from different areas also. So just keep that in mind too, but yeah. Both galbies, short ribs, and I'm gonna put the marinated two day one on the right hand side. Pop it on, oh yeah. The 45 minute one I'll put over here. Let it kiss it a little bit. We're gonna probably try to cook them for a few minutes on each side. The smell of just the grill running without even meat on it in the first place just smells so good. I always love the smell of like a barbecue grill turning on and just that smell of the past experience and histories of what it cooked. You can kind of smell it in the air. It's, it's so nice. It's a cozy feeling. I really wish I knew how to grill better. I have been really into like watching pit masters and stuff like that, but I'm just not very good with the grill, the fire controlling and stuff like that. Let's give it a look here. It's been about two minutes. Ooh, yeah, I can tell it's not cooking as fast. It's just trying to keep up with this cold. Oh yeah, look at those lines though. It's looking pretty nice. Ooh, baby. I think these are ready to be flipped actually. Let's take a look at that. Oh mama. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's the marination for two days. Remember, this smaller one. Oh, look at these juices just coming out like so. Oh yeah. Oh, these are, these are becoming prime right now. Prime rib. Yeah. It's been about two minutes. Let's go ahead and look at these pieces of meat. Oh, just opening it up just smells so good. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good. That is becoming good. I'm not cooking these like professional right now. I'm just cooking it off a of look and feel. And I feel like I want to eat it right now. Can you see that? Mmm. That's skin crackling. Dackling. I'm going to put them on the plate. Plating. So this is the 45 minute one right there. And this is the two day one. Oh. Those pieces of meat. All right, let me turn off the fires. There they are. Oh, isn't that pretty? Well, this is my first time having a barbecue out in the snow. We have some galbi. 45 minute marination. Oh, let me get a bigger bite. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it is so tasty. Oh my gosh. Meat is tender. The sauce is good, just right on point. <clears throat> oh man, I love cleaning the bones just like that. Oh my gosh. That is good. That is good. Just fresh off the grill. All right, two day marination one process right here. <laughs> mm. That is That is just as good I will say the flavor Is more full It feels more full It does feel a bit more tender too Oh man But I'm just thinking because this is a thicker cut of meat. It was a thicker piece. And so it, feel, it feels more full. But. Wow. That is really good. I should have gotten the same like thickness of the meats. I didn't realize how thick and thin they were. I gotta clean this. This is the best tasting part right here is this cartilage that like wraps right around the bone. You know, just kind of like pick that this. 
Just strip it, you know, you gotta strip that bone right off. Make it naked. Oh yeah. Oh. Just so chewy, that texture, I love it. I mean, I will say, if you have the time, definitely marinate it for a few days or at least a night. But having it, if you're like trying to prep it just for a few hours, this is good. Oh, wow. It's so tasty, especially out here. Like a little bit of snow falling down. Something about the atmosphere. Just grilling out in the pure cold and eating a good meal. It just, it feels so good. It tastes so good. Wow. What a treat. That marinade sauce is solid, guys. I would just give it a try. If you want something quick and easy, look for the guy with the green hat, that jar of marinade. Very simple. You just literally soak the meat in water and then you soak it in the marinade. And it's good to go. It is good to go. It's so juicy. Wow. It's tasty, guys. I'm happy. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like beast moding this right now. I forgot to mention also, you don't have to go to Sam's Club or Costco to get this cut of meat. You can also go to H Mart. H Mart does have this. I just noticed that it was a bit more expensive and less like good quality. It seems like some of the Asian markets, they overprice some of these like Asian cut meats, you know, like these short rib styles. Before my mom, long time ago when she first came here, she would have to special order from the butcher this short rib cut. Like they didn't cut it back then for some reason at Sam's Club. So they would cut it like that and they would give her like a huge discount. But now they have so much of it. Like it's just all cut like that. Six bones and I am very satisfied. That was tasty. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this little cooking with the bokeh. I hope you did enjoy. I would highly recommend you try it out. If you do like Galbi, if you do like this style, it's very simple, very easy. Just take some time. I think it's it's worth it. It's worth it once in a while for sure. Much love, one love. This has been Deboki, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Stay warm out there. Goodbye.